Hello sailors, you're watching the Dodgy Kebab, and I'm lucky enough to have a PlayStation 3. But what if I didn't have a PS3, but still wanted in on some of that PlayStation 3 sweet action? You would probably use your other PS3. Well, yeah, there, there is that. You know, that one you hacked so you could run pirate games. Shut up, Flair! Anyway, if I didn't have either of these PlayStation 3s, there's now a way to get in on the action. And that is a service called PlayStation Now. I'm not going to talk about if I think £12 a month is a reasonable price or not, because one man's ripoff is another man's bargain. No, let's see if this service actually works or not. So the idea is you connect with a TV, a PlayStation Vita, PS4 or even a PS3 to this service, and it's basically Netflix but for games. You select what you want to play and it streams to the device over the internet. If you're using a TV, then you'll need to sync a DualShock 3 or 4 via TV's USB socket. The other thing you'll need is a quality internet connection. This is what I'm getting here from my fibre optic line. As you can see, it's pretty good. But if you live in some third world country where the internet is toilet, this might be a problem. I'm going to go in on this hard. Let's test a game that will fall to pieces if there's even the slightest amount of lag. Minesweeper! Okay, maybe not. Let's look at Motorstorm Apocalypse instead. I've picked this one because not only is it a brilliant game, but I also own the actual disc so I can do a real comparison. I tried the game first via the app on my Sony HD TV, with a DualShock 3 pad synced. I can tell you that it performs exactly the same as the app on the PS3, so in the interests of not having to force people to endure a piss poor quality video, I use the Now app on the PS3 to record the footage. The first thing we want to look at is the graphical quality. On the left here, we can see the actual disc running on a PS3, and on the right, we can see the streamed PlayStation Now version. For some reason, the disc is ever so slightly darker than the streamed version, but as far as picture quality goes, the Now version looks the same on this video as the disc. It was only really when playing through HDMI and not having the PVR box connected that I could really see any difference. And even then, it was very, very minor. Only someone with a very keen eye and a large enough TV could tell the difference. Now, I want to talk about the sound quality. This is the disc version. This is the PlayStation Now version. Through normal speakers, I couldn't tell a difference, but through my theatre surround system, you can just about tell that it has the same flaws as MP3 music does. You see, in the most basic terms, MP3 music compression works by cutting off the top and bottom of the musical sound waves, thus reducing the amount of file space needed. The sounds that are cut are at the very top and very most bottom of what you can actually hear, so they are fringe sounds on the audible spectrum. Most people don't notice, but you can spot them if you listen to your favourite song from a CD through decent headphones, then listen to the same song saved as an MP3. As you know the song so well, you'll spot the missing parts. This is pretty much how PlayStation Now works. The sound is compressed so the top and the bottom are missing, but you'll only ever know if you know the song that's being played and have good enough equipment to actually broadcast it anyway. Finally we come to the actual gameplay. As you can tell so far, I look for the fine details and it's here that PlayStation Now performs its best. Even with a game like this, I couldn't tell them apart. I had no input lag at all, it was spot on. This is the most impressive thing about this service and also the most crucial part. Playing the Now version is no different to playing the disc version, it was just perfect. So hats off to Sony for actually delivering. My conclusion of the tech behind this is that Sony have delivered a really great system for streaming games. As far as price and what games they have, I'll leave that up to you to decide whether you think it's worth the money or not. But in terms of whether or not this works, yes it does. Well, that's it for- Hey Dodgy, are we ever going to get this Hellground review? I've got the Halloween special to do, then- Oh come on Dodgy, just release the fucking video. Oh calm down, it's coming soon, I- Ah bah.
Hello sailors, thank you for watching the video, hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to support me in my future videos, there's a Patreon link down there if you want to go that way, or by request, I've now added a direct PayPal donate button, so if you want to do it that way, do it that way. There's other things you can do, you can follow me on social media like Facebook and Twitter, and why not have a look at these other videos I'm linking on the screen right now. Anyway, that's all, bye bye.